What's up guys, bringing you an interesting little after pulse video here today. We're going to be going through some 1 star veteran weapons. We got our 1 star AG-10 veteran maxed out of course. Make sure I got a screenshot of that guy. Give you a quick spin around here. Same description as the regular plus the veteran description. Overall efficiency upgrade, high quality materials and fire mechanisms. We're going to be wearing the full beret set, seems appropriate enough, should boost it the most. <laughs> so we'll do a quick training match, might as well. We'll see uh, how does a one star veteran assault rifle perform with the boost from the full three piece tactical beret set. I do have a six star secondary so it's kind of cheating. but. Focus on the primary here. Obviously we do not have a scope at a one star, so we'll be spraying all over the place right now. Definitely got the range, at least with the beret gear. Very interesting. You know, it could it could be a huge difference wearing the beret gear with the low star weapons compared to high star weapons. Um, because let's say let's say the range is a thousand on your one star weapon probably higher than that in this guy but um, obviously you just saw it in the video but <laughs> let's just say it's a thousand and then you wear the three piece beret set which gives plus 20 percent range um, so we don't know how that's calculated I know with the portability boost it's kind of shown that it's more or less you know it's not exactly but more or less calculated from a fixed number you know a, a constant number right and so if these range boosts are calculated from a constant number, let's say, you know, calculated from 2,000, you know, a, a 20% uh, range boost is going to be, what, 400 points? Um, so you're boosting, you know, you're essentially boosting, if that's, you know, if that was the case, you'd be boosting 40% in range compared to the original range of the of your 1000 range weapon, right? So hopefully that made sense, but you know, if, if you have a, a higher star weapon with, say you have 4000 range, you do the same exact boost, you know, it boosts 20% of, of 2000, you know, just randomly throwing out numbers, and uh, you know, that'd be 400 out of 4000 range, then it's boosting 10%, you know, effectively, right? Um, so those range boosts, if they're if they're based on a constant number, they could really really help the lower tier weapons, you know. Obviously, it still adds an equal amount of range to each, and you know I'm just speculating. I don't know if this is the way it's calculated, but if that was the case, it would add an equal amount of range to each. But that that same amount is going to be a lot more percentage of the currently existing range of a lower range weapon, right? Um, so I don't know interesting to think about. Got some more cash. Got enough for one more farming match. We're actually going to jump into a multiplayer battle, see if we can find any. Not sure if any will fill up around this time, but regardless, we will probably skip right into the match. Maybe I'll show you my gear or something, but Looks like I lost a few ranked spots back to top 10%. Alright, I'll give you a quick view of my loadout here. Might as well show you the gear, I know there's still a lot of people out there who do not have this gear. It is 6 star gear after all, so, you know, not exactly the most common, but a lot of people do have it. So, we have the Tactical Beret, and obviously 6 star piece, plus 30% head accuracy with LMG and Assault. 948 portability, 1704 defense, um, two-piece set plus 20% stability with LMD and assault, and 
3 piece set plus 20% range with LMG and Assault. We should be getting an answer soon of whether those bonuses stack up. I believe they do, so when you wear the 3 piece set, you should get the stability boost and the range boost. I could be wrong on that. We should have an official answer very soon. Um, I will be posting a video with that update when I do uh, see the info posted, but here's the tactical beret vest plus 30% reload speed on LMG and Assault. The tactical beret gear is pretty much all performance gear. It all, all, the, all of the boosts are in performance as opposed to protection or, or something else, but um, I guess mobility would be really the only other thing. Performance, protection, mobility. I guess those would be like the three main categories, but 870 portability, very portable, and 4261, pretty good base defense. You know, it's, it's very good, great, great, uh, great vest. I mentioned before that it kind of replaces the light urban vest. Um, let's see, there's the light urban vest, 880 portability, so you know you're only 10 portability points shy, and you're higher on the base defense, so you have better protection against everything except assault. You know, depending on how that assault protection is calculated, it could be about equal, could be a little more, could be a little less on the light urban vest, whatever. Um, but hopefully you get. I don't know if that was the best explanation, but, you know, basically I never wear the light urban vest anymore. Um, tactical beret pants, plus 20% accuracy while on the move with LMG and Assault. 922 portability, 2556 defense, and perfect timing. Looks like we just found a match on Shipwreck, and we'll jump right into it. So I'll probably just be doing one match with this guy, I think. You guys might have already seen the one star. Oh my gosh. That is some crazy speed, man. You see how fast he got over there? I've never seen someone get over there so quick. But you guys might have seen this already in one of my videos. I think it was called like Time to See the Elephant. I think we had to kill the Mastodon with like a one star or two star weapon or something. So we used an AG-10 veteran. Something like that. And I'll probably save the Evolve. I will be evolving this to a two-star. I'll save that for another video because that will be part of the October 2016 seasonal challenges. Not sure when you'll see this exact video. I'm gonna try to focus, get out of here if it's even possible. <laughs> I thought I had stuns equipped, equipped, so I went to throw a stun, but I placed an IED, so I didn't. I didn't know what to do. I probably could have killed him. Oh, almost. Head to head with the 6 star A500 Autumn. We almost got him. We almost got him. Alright, we made it across the map. the A500 guy, hopefully we don't get blown up by something. Yeah, there it is. I knew it was coming. There's really not much else I can do, you know? At least we got an assist. Oh, I thought I had a stun again. This is brutal. That lovely UNK AGL combo, man. Obviously, I'm using a one star, so not like I'm gonna do much against it anyway, but. No, 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 I just hit reload. I don't know why I did that. You see, 30 Nightcrawler, four star. Interesting. Lovely. <laughs> just lovely. Just lovely. Again by another HEL. Oh, we got one. Nope, we got an assist. There's no way we're not going to get blown up by an HEL. Yep. <laughs> 
might have been able to run out to my right there, but... Ah, I was gonna sneak around and get him. Got one guy camping with A500, one guy shooting the AGL, I mean... With a one-star weapon, nothing really I can do. Probably could have had that guy. Blame it on the live commentary again. There we go, there's a good kill. Spammed by the AGL again, but... Beat the A500 guy. You know, killed quick enough for a one star. Probably gonna get blown up one more time till we make it. Alright, we didn't die. See how bad we did? 2, 13, and 2. It's a one star AG10 veteran going against an AGL660 Tiger, I believe it was a 6 star, you know, UNKCQB. We had, I think, Sub Zero, you know, good player with that, Adam CQR. Minus 10 points in rank, that's no big deal. Just show you the two star preview. This Evolve will be in another video which will probably be posted in the past from the time you're watching this video. So be sure to uh, go back, watch some old videos on my channel, you know, it doesn't hurt anybody. Um, <laughs> but there's the two star, we'll have that guy soon. And uh, yeah, just uh, briefly showing you guys a one star veteran AG10, max style. Hope you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe for more videos on After Pulse. And as always, I will catch you on the next video.